Hi everyone, I'm Andy Voss and today I'm going to show you how to add noise in a non-destructive way in Photoshop. All right, so the first step, let's say you have your image, you're done working on your image and you want to add either texture or just add noise on the whole image. So I'm going to show you, you the first step is create a brand new layer by clicking here you add noise. I'm not going to do any shortcuts because I want you to understand and see what we're doing all the steps before using all the shortcuts. All right. So you call it noise. Then we're going to fill this layer with 50% gray. So you click on the foreground layer here on the foreground color and the this is the values that you need to enter. You have the red, the green, and the blue. In the red here, you enter 128, 128, then 128. You should have zero, zero, then 50, 50% 50 gray, everything, it's gray. So you press okay, then you choose your bucket your paint bucket tool, then you fill it with gray. Change the blending mode. This is the normal blending mode. Those are the blending modes here. Just change the blending mode to soft light. Anything that is 50% gray, when you change the blending mode to soft light, becomes invisible, becomes becomes uh transparent all right so now before adding noise directly on this particular layer we're going to convert the layer to a smart object convert to smart object once it's ch converted to a smart object go to filter noise then add noise uh, you can change the values the way you want. You can put it to the max and just do whatever you want. Uh, depending on the purpose of your image, just because you still have the option to reduce the opacity here. Just, I'm going to put it at 28, whatever, and just do a Gaussian and monochromatic. Why it should be on monochromatic? Because you don't want to have colored noise. So monochromatic and you click on OK. And once it's done, of course, you look at the image and you say, OK, this is what I want or I just want to reduce. But let's say you wanted to just change the amount of noise overall. Since we converted the, the layer into a smart object, you can double click on add noise and you still have the values you can change the values of your filter and this is the best way this is the the non-destructive way uh the the way to work in photoshop in a non-destructive way all right so everything is done so now you can just play with uh the opacity if you want more if you want less noise if you want more noise it's really up to you guys all right, I'm done. But before, I just made an action. I created an, an action for you. Uh, you can download it right after this video. Uh, once everything is downloaded, you can just go into the action menu here. If you don't see your action uh, actions here, go to the window and click on action. So once it's there, you go the, to the menu go to load actions and you're going to be able to see my noise and device and you click you select it play change the amount the way you want press on ok and there you go all right i hope you all enjoyed it uh, i'm gonna try to make more videos for you if you want me to uh to do uh to talk about specific things, just let me know. Uh, send me a DM or just uh, send me an email. 
it will be a pleasure for me to do it for you for you guys all right hope you all enjoyed it have a good day good afternoon good night and happy new year peace